Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. So this result says if you have two matrix spaces x d and y d dash, where x is a finite matrix space, then if you consider any function from x to y, then definitely it is a continuous function. So let us prove this result. So the important information is matrix space x is finite set. So let us consider that x is equal to. So it has finite number of elements. So we are considering it has n number of elements. So x will be like this x1, x2 and so on xn. It has n number of elements with matrix D. So this is a matrix space we have xd which is a finite matrix space. And see we have to prove that any function f defined from x to y is definitely a continuous function. See before proving this result we are going to prove one claim. This is so much important to prove this result. So let us discuss that claim first and then we will go to the proof of this result. So my claim is so my claim is every subset of x is open. So we have to prove that if you have any subset of this matrix space xd which is a finite matrix space then definitely it is an open set. So let us take one subset of x and we will prove it is an open set. So let a subset of x. So I have taken one subset of x. We have to prove it is open. How to prove any set is open? We take any arbitrary point from the set and uh, we try to find a ball around it which entirely lies inside a set. Get it? So let me show in this diagram. So we have a finite matrix space like this xd. We are taking any arbitrary subset of x which is a and we have to prove it is an open. So what we do we take any arbitrary point a and we try to find a ball around it which entirely lies inside set a. Okay. So let us take one arbitrary point. So let a belongs to capital A B any arbitrary point. So now our target is to find a radius. Okay, what is our target? Target is to find radius such that ball with center A radius R entirely lies inside set A. Okay, so let us see what will I do. Uh, so let R I am defining in this way minimum of D of x i a such that i belongs to this 1 2 3 and 4 n and a is not equal to x i okay so let me explain with the help of diagram so as you know x has finite number of elements getting like this finite number of elements x1 x2 like this and we have one point which is also one of them okay which is one of them and what I am going to do, I am going to find the distance of A from each point. Distance of A from each point, x3, x4 like that, getting. But A should not be equal to xi, getting. So yes, if, if A is equal to suppose x7, don't find distance from itself. This is a condition we have. So in this way, we are finding the minimum distance. Suppose we have x10 here. So this will be the minimum distance and you can call it as r. So in this way, I have defined this R. So now my target is to prove if you draw a ball with center A and radius this R, then ball will entirely lie inside set A. Okay, so let us find a ball first. So consider, I am considering a ball with center A and radius R. So we are familiar with the definition of open ball, which is defined in this way. X belongs to capital X such that distance of X from A it's less than r. Let us continue that thing here. Okay. So distance of a uh, from x is less than r. But see as you can as per, as per our definition r is a minimum distance. So if the distance between any two points is less than minimum distance then obviously it is 0. Okay. So therefore this is equal to x belongs to capital X such that d of x a is equal to 0 since r is minimum distance and we are having a distance less than minimum distance so obviously it is zero so distance between two points is zero that means both are equal so we can say x is equal to a so actually we are collecting a points from x which are equal to a that means 
we will have a single element a here so ball with center a and radius r is nothing but only one point a singleton set getting see i want some more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so here what we have we have selected point a from capital a but basically the point a from set capital a so if you consider a singleton set then it is a subset of a but singleton set a is nothing but a ball so you can write b a r subset of a so we started with any arbitrary point and we got a ball around it which entirely lies inside set a so this is definition of open set so we can declare therefore a is an open set in xt so that means if you take any subset if you take any subset of x then it is an open set so that's why we can declare therefore we can declare every subset of x is open so in this way we completed our uh, proof of this claim getting we have completed the proof of this claim every subset of that matrix space xt is an open set getting so let us come back to the main result so here what we have to prove we have to prove any fun function from x to y is definitely a continuous function so let us consider any function so let f from xd to yd dash be any function okay and what we have to prove to prove that f is continuous on x so this thing we have to prove okay so i want some more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now our target is to prove the function is continuous see it is continuous on x so let me draw the diagram suppose uh, so here we have a matrix space xt and we have another matrix space yd dash and we have a function f from x to y what we have to prove function is continuous on x so we can prove the function f is continuous at each and every point of x then we can say the function is continuous so we can do it using epsilon delta definition but see in previous videos we have already seen many equivalent definition of continuous function so we can use them as a definition so those results we are if you have any sequence xn if you have any sequence xn converges to x then f of xn converges to f of x f of x n converges to f of x so that result also we can use to prove this one so there is one more way for any open set g in y its inverse image f inverse g is open in x so this result also we have so actually we are going to use this result to prove this one so that means i will consider any open subset g of y and we will prove that its inverse image is open in x so let let g subset of y be an open set so i am considering open set in y so obviously its inverse image is subset of x its inverse image will be subset of x so implies f inverse g is an open subset of x so it is an open subset of x will you tell me the reason since in our claim we have already proved if you take any subset of x definitely it is open so f inverse g is an uh, subset of x so definitely it is open so by claim we can mention by claim so using uh, claim we can write this one so actually we had taken any arbitrary open subset of y and we proved its inverse image is open in x so therefore f from x to y is continuous function okay so in this way we proved if the domain is a finite set okay uh, or the matrix space is a finite matrix space domain matrix space then if you define any function from x to y then definitely it is a continuous function okay so the proof is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you